2014 Power Stroke. We put a 2015 uh, motor in it and a 2015 Turbo. The customer's looking for more power above what the 2015 Turbo and fuel system uh, could deliver. So what we did was we added a compound kit to it. So you have an S486 right here, uh, made by Borg Warner, and it's feeding air into the factory 2015 turbocharger there. So the name of the game is to get the most amount of air at the coolest temperature into the motor. And we're achieving that by using the exhaust. So the exhaust comes out of both cylinder heads. It drives the 2015 turbocharger. The rest of the exhaust that bypasses through the exhaust vanes comes down this insulated pipe and it feeds the inlet of this S486. It's not an SXE486, it's an off the shelf. So it's a non-billet wheel turbo. It's kind of like more of a basic atmospheric turbocharger. And then from there, the exhaust gas passes through the rest of the exhaust system out the tailpipe. So this would be what the downpipe would look like if it were connected to the 2015 turbo. So that's the hot air side. The cold air side, uh, the, the truck takes a suction from the atmosphere here. And the name of the game behind this turbocharger, the cold side of the turbo is to increase the net positive suction head that the 2015 turbo has so typically if we didn't have the compound turbo here this turbo would have to raise pressure from today's like 14.2 psi a out a outside uh that's basically one bar of pressure here uh you know in nebraska we're at like 1100 feet elevation so the name of the game, if this was stock, would be to raise the pressure from 14 pounds absolute pressure, which is zero pounds gauge pressure, to our desired target boost pressure, which varies but 28 to 34 PSI. So instead of the tur one turbocharger having to take the pressure from, from zero PSIG up to 30 some PSIG, we use this turbo to feed the 2015 turbo. So this charge pipe can reach over 30 pounds of pressure. And this turbo now only has to raise pressure from 30 pounds to a maximum of, we're like 40 to 50 PSI of charge pressure. So fresh air comes in here. This turbocharger is spooled by the exhaust from the 2015 turbo. This raises boost pressure up. This turbocharger inhales the pressure from this turbo and it goes through the air, uh, the, the water, uh, intercooler here. This is a factory Ford style intercooler, but no limit fabrication um, has supplied us with a, a little bit better heat exchanger. And then the air comes out of the heat exchanger and is fed right into the each head pipe through a modified Y bridge. So we end up at like 630 grams per second of airflow at about 130 degrees at full load versus we'd be at max on a 2015 turbo by itself, we'd be about 400 grams per second of airflow and about 200 degrees. So we're at a higher boost pressure, but the temperature's cooler because we're having to compress the air less because we have a big turbo to feed a small turbo to desire, to give us our desired air load. And the only other modifications are done is a 10 millimeter CP4 pump um, so we can get the required pressure to get over 700 rear wheel horsepower out of this truck. Uh, stock bottom end, 1,500 foot-pounds of torque. So we get a lot of questions about how do we flash, how do we tune these trucks. Um, we develop these things on the dyno, but then final proving is on the street just to make sure they run properly and shift properly. We use EasyLink um, on this particular application. So you can see these are, these are the tunes that we've developed. So this is the EasyLink Auto Agent app. It's linked to us, uh, VSE. So you can go to the ECU profiles and you can see that the last, um, the last installed tune that was in the truck was a 700 rear wheel horsepower compound turbo um, application. So it has TCM tuning included, the technician's us. Um, so you can see the details to put, to install these into the truck. Uh, you would literally go to the tune that you wanna, you wanna install um, and then we just have a host of tunes we built for it. So you just go to the cloud and then you download the, the tune. And then it'll take just a few seconds because it's a 2000 or more kilobyte file. 
and then you hit install and it'll install the ECM and TCM profile. Uh, those are the two that we have uh, selected for this, but there's a ton of different tune options for this. Um, this is for like fixed vane turbos. We have them for uh, single uh, turbos. We have them for 2015 turbochargers. We have compound turbocharger setups, which is what we have in this truck now. So there's tons of them, but this is a cloud-based app and it literally pulls the data from the web, downloads it into the EasyLink box, and then it's imported into the vehicle's um, engine control unit and transmission controller via the OBD2 plug. So the EasyLink's installed into the truck. It takes about three minutes to flash both engine and transmission. And then so the users can literally pick the ones that they want. And if they have multiple trucks hooked to one EasyLink box, they can just select the different trucks that they may or may not be linked to, and then they can install tunes and those with using one easy link device.